how, uh, how, how did camp go for you and uh, how, how ready are you for this season opener? Uh, camp went well. You know, we came out here ready to go like I thought we would be. Uh, came out here ready to fly around. Um, you know, um, it was good to see all, 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 all of us develop really well from offense to defense to special teams. Um, you know, camp went, went by really fast for us. You know, so it's crazy. It's already game week and I'm going to my, like my last season. But, uh, you know, I'm excited and I'm excited where we're at as a team. Do you feel like this defense is going to this game with something to prove? Um, yeah, not even just deep, the, the defense, it's the whole team, all the special teams. You know, we came, um, we got a lot to prove this year to everybody and to ourselves um, and to our program and our alumni to know that, you know, we're coming out here ready to, you know, to shock the world. And, um, you know, I think we have the mentality to do, to do that this year as well as the physical features and the, and the knowledge. Um, you know, I think it's, it's going to display itself on Thursday. What, what stands out to you about their offense? Uh, Coach Kelly was saying they have a quarterback who's a dual threat and they're very deep at running back. Yeah, you know, they're uh, overall great team, great program over there. Um, the quarterback, running back, tight ends, receivers, you know, all all great guys. Um, but it's up to us at the end of the day to read our keys, uh, know our assignments, and do our job. The quarterback you guys faced a little bit last year. How much, going into that game, he obviously wasn't started. How much did you know about him heading into that game? Um, you know, I didn't know much head into the game, um, but you know, he came out and you know did, he did a great job for uh, their program um, and, and the rest of the season. Um, so you know, we, we kind of know what we're expecting this year and uh, what we need to do to stop them, um, as well as the rest of the rest of the offense. And uh, like I said, it's up to us to do our job. It was a long season for them between that time you faced them and then the end. How much of that first game film did you even watch? Um, you know, we, I think me personally, I watched it a lot um, just to see ourselves and. Um, then I compare it to this year and how much we've grown. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see ourselves display this, display it this year, um, as well as, you know, to see them, you know, I, I know they, they, they de develop over the year and um, watch them improve. So um, it should be a good, a, a good hard, a hard, feel, hard fought battle. In what ways, uh, based on camp and, and, and the film, have you grown since last year? Um, like I said, I think it's our mentality. Um, we came with, um, mentality of like we're coming to attack you this year. I think last year we came out, you know, we didn't really know our assignments that well and we we're waiting to see what, what was happening. Um, this year we came out with a, with a better football IQ, um, we're communicating better, we're flying, flying at all levels, we're much more in shape. Um, so, you know, I think this year's going to be a much better year for us. Is it cool to have Mokini and, and his brother out there with you uh, as far as, you know, having two guys who are brothers uh, playing together? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, I view them as family. You know, we were together on uh, the seventh circuit and can't do this whole thing together. So to see, just to see them interact out there with each other, um, you know, it's fun to see. But uh, for me too, as well, just to be out there with them, to know that you know they got my back, I got their back, um, as well as rest of the rest of the defense. You know, it's a good, comforting feeling. You know, I trust him, he trusts me. So let's go out there and do our job. Is there a special bond between those two guys being brothers, or do you feel like they're just like they're just two other teammates? Oh no, no, no. I mean, they're they're. They're special, you know. You see them up in the locker room and how they interact with each other and other players. It's just that we got words created up in the locker room that only only they would make up. And it's like I don't know. It's just it's just how they are and who they what like the person that they've been with this team is is, is one and none. What were those words? Uh, I can't really say the words, but it's like <laughs> it's just something, it's something within the team. Okay. Yeah. All right. Obviously, well, it was unfortunate that you guys lost Tyree, but how have the linebackers stepped up in, in his role? Um. Yeah, that was a big loss for us. Um, you know, I hate to see my, my brother go down like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to keep pushing forward and keep developing the young guys. And um, now we got young guys like Carl Jones and um, Adam Cohen who's come up and, you know, developed the playbook really well. Um, to see guys like McKinney and Jabari Anderson come up, step up in, in big roles and um, be able to fill in and fill the shoes of, uh, of Tyree has been you know, tremendous. And it's on all of us to know the playbook and all of us to push each other at the end of the day. And um, I think we're doing a really good job, a really good job of that and just, you know, pushing forward and making sure that we're focused on what we're doing and being able to be the center of the whole defense. Talk about Carl Jones and what he brings to the table. Uh, he brings the speed. You know, um, he's actually developed a good knowledge of the, of the playbook really fast, coming from safety to linebacker um, in the middle of camp. Um, to do that is, is very, is very special. Um, to see him out there running around, um, you know, it's, just, it's really exciting to see the type of, um, of, of, of personnel that we, we can bring into the game now. Um, you know, he's going to be really important for us, and you know, we we rely on him, and he's he's grown a lot. So I'm excited to see him, you know, play on Thursday. With so many young guys joining the program in the off season, uh, what advice have you given them for camp and then this first week of game camp? Um, no, just for, just for camp. I think at the beginning of the camp was like, okay, just surround yourself by the older guys. Um, we've been through this, you know, we, we kind of know what it is, and we gotta get you, we gotta get you guys in the flow of things. So I think for them, it was just more of like, um, you know, getting the knowledge, ramped up really quick, because it's fast paced moving every day. You always learn something new. Um, so it's trying, you know, it's helped develop them, you know, sitting down with them in meetings out of practice and it's getting them pushed forward and make sure they you know they never got too, um, too clutter headed. And I think, you know, they, 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 did, they did a good job of that. And now going into game week, 
there's different rules, different stuff coming up now. So it's like, okay, now you got to focus and, and hone in on more of the detail stuff. We, we got more of the, the big the big stuff down, but now it's real detail. What's position specific for each uh, spot and, um, you know, what, are, what we're reading in certain, in certain keys. So um, I think for them, they're doing a good job, job, of, that, job of that as well. Um, you know, I'm excited to see how it goes on throughout the week. Carl's from Bakersfield too. Is he? Do you have like an extra sense of pride for, with him? Yeah, you know, I mean, I want everyone, I want everyone to succeed, um, you know. But to have someone from Bakersfield and uh, gonna be playing next to me you know, on Thursday, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Um, just to have that, you know, that that uh, pride for Bakersfield and be able to show that you no know, talent does come out of there. Um, you know, to see him flourish and um, show what he what he's come here for is it's gonna be exciting to see. Thanks, Chris. Thank Thanks, you. Chris. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. And yourself? Yeah, good. it's been a while. Yourselves? <laughs> Chris said you got uh, some special lingo with your brother in the locker room. Can you tell us about that? Um, it's kind of just, it started with our friends from home, uh, a group of like five, six of us. It's kind of just, you know, when like something funny happens or, you know, you like stub your toe, you just make whatever noise that comes to mind. It kind of just, it starts from there and then some words stick, others don't. <laughs> so you guys got to basically have like a whole vocabulary? Pretty much, it'd be like just just little words, like one word that can have, depending on the context of how we use it, it could have like five, six different meanings. Okay, what's so, the yeah. you got an example for us? Uh, uh I don't want to put it out there. <laughs> uh, well, we say goist, like the whole team says goist. It's like you can say like, what's goist? If I were to ask you what's goist, it's like, oh, what's going on? Like, how are you doing? What's going on? Or if I'm eating some food that's really good, I'm like, this is goist, like it's good. Or like goist, like if I'm about to leave somewhere, I'm like, all right, goist, or, I'm about to leave. It just <laughs> depending on how you use it is, is yeah. what the meaning of the word is. Like you and your brother came up with this? Um, pretty much yeah. My, me, my brother, mainly my brother, and then uh, our friends from back home. And then okay. the words just stick. They're funny. Guys like, what, like what the heck? Like we'll go home for a weekend. We'll come be home for a break. Come back with a new word. I was like, what's that? And then next <laughs> thing you know, you hear tomorrow you hear somebody else saying it. Then the next day, two more people saying it, and so on and so forth. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's just little, just just little things to make it fun here, and just kind of we have our own language here, so it, it, it's fun. How much fun is it to, to think that you could go on in this game and play, you know, next to your brother in, in the game at the same time? Oh, uh, it, it's super fun. I mean, growing up, we've always been the ones working out together. Everything I did, he did. He was there. Everything he did, I was there. So I mean, it's fun. It's, it's been our dream. You know, part of us coming here, uh, our dream. Part of us wanting to go to college play college football was so we can play together, which is one of the reasons why we both ended up coming here because this is one of the few places that gave us a chance to do that. You guys don't room together? Yeah, we do. My brother and I, we have an apartment off campus. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in the locker room, are you guys next to each other? No, I'm on one row here, and then he's on the row before me. He's in the middle row, I'm on the end row. Okay. You guys, obviously, it was unfortunate losing Tyree from mm -hmm. the linebackers, but how, how do you feel like you guys have stepped up? Um, I mean, it's always unfortunate. Uh, you know, we dealt with it with Josh Woods uh, last year and the year before that. Even when we dealt with it with Caleb, he wasn't a linebacker, but it just, it always hurts losing a brother. You know, you, you never want to see that happen to anybody, whether he's in the same meeting room as us or on a different team, you just never want to see that being a competitor. But um, I mean, it's hard losing Tyree, especially a guy, you know, he was a big part of the defense last year. And, you know, he's a guy who knew everything. And he he's like, he, he, Tyree's one of the guys that brings livelihood to the room. You know, a guy everyone can gravitate towards. So, I mean, it's always hard, but you know, at the end of the day, just next man up. And Tyree knows we're still here for him, but whenever he needs anything, you know, he's still involved in the football stuff and just outside here he knows we're here for him. How go is you Cincinnati? Um Cincinnati's a good team. You know, uh, played them last year. The they walked away with the W, good team, discipline team. Uh, uh yeah, they're they're a good discipline team, had a good year last year, you know, we're just excited to go out there and play them now. What makes them challenging for defense? Um, they're just a good, well disciplined team. You know, a, a good, well disciplined team where you don't do your job, then just like with any other team, you don't do your job, they're gonna you can mess around and give them a touchdown. You kind of see this as a do-over in a way, starting a, a new season against against the same team that uh, beat you last year. Um, we kind of see it as we're just trying to uh, focus on the task at hand. Once last season ended, our next task at hand was to have a great off season. We did that. Off season ended. It's time to have a great camp. We did that. Now we're, our next task at hand is to focus on Cincinnati. So that's where our mindset is right now. Do you kind of see them as maybe a team you want to be this year, because? They had a second-year coach last year and went from three wins at 10. Well, our goal every week here, no matter who we're playing, whether we played or not, our goal every week is to just go 1-0. So like I said, our task at hand now is to go 1-0, and it just so happens we're playing Cincinnati again for week one. So that's our task, is just be 1-0 this week. How much better is this team that's overall than last year? Um, it's just more comfortable, more comfortable. You know, it's kind of just with anything, just like you go to a new school, you know, it's hard to adapt and adjust. But you know, we have a year under our belt. The, the foundation's been laid. So we went from, we kind of like graduated from the like beginner stuff now on the next level. And the chemistry's there between the players, 
chemistry is there between the coaches, and it's just fun. We come out here every day uh, with uh, the right mindset. You know, we're out having fun every day. So it's really exciting. I'm excited to see where we go this year and what we do. What do you think you've improved on the most as a team? As a team? Uh, just chemistry, you know, going really just taking ownership of what we're doing and just having fun. You know, every day we came out here, it, it was always fun to come out here and uh, play football. It was always fun to come out here to play, so we always had that mindset with it. What is it being uh, one of the veterans? What does that mean to you, being on this team? Um, it's, I look back, like, where did the time go? I mean, I, I remember being the young guy four <laughs> years ago, and now just being the older guy, it's like, that's crazy. I remember the guys I looked up to. Now you know there's guys looking up to me. It's, it's just crazy being on the complete opposite end of the spectrum now. What is it like being the older guy on a team that's as young as this one is? Um, it's kind of, well, like my family, I'm the big brother, so I'm kind of always used to just being the older guy. But just here, I mean, we have, it's, it's a great group of guys here everywhere. You know, the, the standard, just everyone understands the standard and the values are, that are all across the board. So, I mean, there's, it's really not no, it's not like a dictate. It's not like, okay, I'm an older guy, what uh, the older guy say goes. It's kind of, we're all just one big family helping each other and serving each other. What challenges does the Cincinnati quarterback present to you guys? What was that? What challenges does the Cincinnati quarterback present to you guys? Oh, uh, he's a good quarterback and he has experience. Uh, so we're just looking to go one and zero this week and just prepare and do our job against him. How do you spell Goisha? G O I S E. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Okay. Here's how we go. You too. <laughs>